क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ए डील्स विद डैम्ड एंड अनडैम्ड ऑसिलेशन सो अनडैम्ड ऑसिलेशन अनडैम्ड ऑसिलेशन मैकेनिकल लेने लगी इस इफ यू हैव अ पेंडुलम यू टेक इट टू वन साइड एंड इफ देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन देर इज नो लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी the pendulum will continue to oscillate with the same amplitude that is you have a pendulum you move it to some amplitude release it it will continue to oscillate with the same amplitude in case there is no friction there is no loss of energy so such an oscillation in which amplitude remains constant why no loss of energy such an oscillation is known as undamped oscillation for a spring mass arrangement you move it to right with amplitude a it will continue to oscillate with amplitude a even if you come after 1 hour amplitude is a after 2 hours amplitude is a even if after a day the amplitude remains a same so that means its amplitude remains constant how to draw this with the time displacement as a function of time amplitude a a a a a a amplitude remains constant such an oscillation in which amplitude remains constant is termed as undamped oscillation second part of the same damped oscillation practical case in practical you have some friction if you release it from some angle some amplitude if you release it you can see its amplitude decreases with time why because there is a loss of energy so if amplitude decreases with the time because of what because of loss of energy such an oscillation is known as damped oscillation and the graph for the same will come out to be displacement as a function of time in the beginning amplitude is high as you move with the time the amplitude decreases you can see amplitude suppose here is 10 8 5 2 1 amplitude keeps on decreasing such an oscillation is known as damped oscillations all practical oscillations are damped oscillation for competition purpose the question is how the amplitude decreases yes amplitude decreases exponentially how amplitude decreases exponentially so repeat what is undamped oscillation the oscillation in which the amplitude remains a constant this is for pendulum this is for spring mass arrangement what about graph graph is its amplitude is a after some time amplitude is a after some time amplitude is a so amplitude remains same there is no variation with the time second part damped oscillation in a damped oscillation amplitude decreases practical cases amplitude is 10 8 5 2 1 1 amplitude decreases with the time such an oscillation is known as damped oscillation time with you is 3 minutes to find out
B part of the same deals with what? B part deals with free, forced and resonant oscillation. B part deals with free, forced and resonant oscillations. First part, free oscillation. Every object has its a time period, so it has its natural frequency also. For example, this is say 1 meter length, formula T is equal to 2 pi root L by G, it is approximately 2 seconds. So, its a time period is 1001, 1002, 2 seconds. What is the frequency? 1 by 2, that is 0.5 hertz. I repeat, time period of this pendulum is 2 seconds and frequency is a 0.5 hertz. So, its a natural frequency is 0.5 hertz. So, every object has its free oscillation time period. So, if you have a tuning fork and you have a independent one table and if the frequency of the tuning fork is say 200 hertz means a natural or free oscillation frequency of this tuning fork is 200, we say it is free oscillation frequency is 200. A table has its independent when it is allowed to oscillate freely, then its frequency is 100 hertz. So, tuning fork independent free oscillation frequency is 200, table independent free oscillation frequency is 100 hertz, we call it its natural frequency. Then forced. There is a table of what frequency? Yes, 100 hertz. And you have a tuning fork. A tuning fork with what frequency? 200 hertz. Tuning fork with the frequency 200 hertz. If you press this tuning fork on this table, this table is a forced, I repeat, this table is forced to oscillate not with 100 hertz, but with the 200 hertz frequency. So, table is under what? Table is under forced oscillation, where this, the original source of energy is termed as driver and this table is driven. Repeat, table's natural frequency was 100 hertz, tuning fork natural frequency was 200 hertz, energy was, originally the energy was with the tuning fork. What was the frequency? 200 hertz. When you press this tuning fork on this table, this table will not oscillate with its natural frequency. It will oscillate with the frequency of the driver, that is tuning fork, 200 hertz. So, we say this table is under forced oscillation. That means when the frequency of the driver is different and the frequency of the driven is different, then this object table is under forced oscillation. Third case, resonant oscillation. It is possible that you have a table with the frequency 100 hertz and you get a tuning fork, new tuning fork, F dash. It is also 100 hertz, 
its natural frequency is also 100 hertz. So both a driver and a driven have same frequency. Now, if you take this tuning fork, these oscillations, and then you press this tuning fork on this table, this table will also start oscillating with the same frequency. How much? 100 hertz. Such oscillations are termed as, yes, resonant oscillations, and in this resonant oscillation, amplitude is very high. So, conclusion is three types of oscillations, free, forced, and resonant oscillation. Tuning fork free frequency, 200 hertz, natural frequency. Table, if it is allowed to oscillate freely, 100 hertz, its natural frequency is 100 hertz. So These are free oscillations. Forced, when this tuning fork of 200 hertz is made to touch this table of frequency 100 hertz, this table also starts oscillating not with its natural frequency but frequency of the tuning fork. So we say table is under forced oscillation. And third case, resonant oscillation competition question is a special case of a forced oscillation when frequency of the driver becomes equal to frequency of driven. That is frequency of the tuning fork 100, frequency of the table 100. So when this tuning fork will touch this table, amplitude will be high. This is termed as resonant oscillations. Time with you is 3 minutes to find out.